Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a fun video for you guys. I actually got this idea from Jeffree Star. Today he uploaded a video about his grandmom. She's 100 years old and this is her favorite makeup tutorial. It's actually from the 1960s, which is crazy. My mom was born in 1960, so that my grandmom is 20 years younger than my mom, my mom, yeah. And so like this is the look like my grandma was doing in the 1960s. So it's kind of crazy. So I'm kind of excited to kind of like go back in time and see like what my grandma was doing to look cute. And go ahead and play this. Go easy. Or the results can become ludicrous. Oh my gosh, she's actually like <laughs> She's actually doing like the beauty guru like like poses like all slow and stuff it's cute this is crazy it's kind of like it was from the twilight zone and this was uploaded like recently it's weird so she's wearing a little headband and she has her hair down so i don't really have a headband like she has i have this little extra looking <laughs> headband right here with a little sequin i'm gonna go ahead and put my hair behind my face like she does Okay, so I have my headband on. Like, how come she looks all cute and shit? And I, I even have like extra bling, and I just look like this isn't a good look. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. Take advantage of what's there. Accentuate the good points. Accentuate the good points. Minimize the others. Optical illusions can, in many. Yes, like my nose, for instance. Flex. <laughs> A light base will make the eyes look smaller. A dark I agree with Jeffrey right there. Like, how does white make your eyes look smaller? I see so many people with like smoked out black uh, eyeshadow and just like that whole like, you know, 90s smoked out look and their eyes look so tiny. So, I don't know. Anyways, continuing. Foundation is used as a base for the rest of your makeup. Work the foundation from the center of the face. Okay, so she's putting on her foundation. So I'm going to be using MAC Studio Fix. And this is in shade NC20. And she's using her hands to put on her makeup. Like, that just blows my mind away. Like, I made sure I washed my hands before I did this. I have not done that since I was in high school. Like, that's all I use. And, like, how did I use my fingers? And anyways, I shook this well enough. Let me go ahead and put this on my face. Okay, so let me see what she says. Toward the hairline using gentle upward strokes. Okay, so from the center of the face towards the hairline. I think I put too much foundation on because <laughs> holy crap. Oh, this just feels so weird. I f seriously feel like I'm painting my face right now. I use a beauty blender and it soaks up a lot of this product. Oh my god, I feel like I put too much on. I'm gonna look like a cake face. Okay, so she said towards the hairline. I feel like, oh my god. Right now, do I look like a cake face? <laughs> with a beige foundation. Blot off excess with a tissue. Ooh, she said blot off excess with a tissue. Oh my god, it just feels like it's coming off. <laughs> okay, so next step. This is going really fast. Dark circles under the eyes are often caused by not enough sleep. Definitely me. And lack of iron. To cover them up, use a foundation two or three tones lighter than your base. Oh, so they actually had kind of like concealer back then. So I'm going to go ahead. I really don't have dark circles. I just like to do this to brighten up my eyes. So she did like little dots. And again, like she used her fingers. Or a highlighting cream. That looks pretty good. Let's continue. Blush is applied to give cheeks a quiet glow. A good rule to follow is never let blush come nearer the nose than an imaginary line 
dropped vertically from the center of the eye. I really thought she was going to set her face first before doing this. Anyways, I'm going to take my blush and the center of my eye. Can you even see that? It's like really light. Dip into another shade. What I'm using here is my Tartiest Pro Glow. I'm just using the top two colors. I just want something to show up on camera. Okay, next step. Blushes can also be used for contouring. Example, a tone three shades darker than the foundation can be used to point up a cheekbone or diminish a wide jaw. Oh wow, she's actually contouring. A tone three shades darker than the foundation. Okay, so three shades darker than the foundation. I'm excited. I'm so glad that they're actually contouring. <laughs> she has like a thinner brush than me, so I'm just going to do my best with this one. Okay, so she's contouring. She contours like right under here, and she does underneath her jawline. Powder sets and blends your makeup. Yes, it does. The simplest powder to use is a colorless, translucent one. I got the Cody Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage Powder. She's using a powder puff. I do not have a powder puff. I don't, I despise them. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my fluffy brush. Pat on liberally. A tuft of cotton that can be thrown away is the best powder puff to use. Wait for the powder to set. Then, with another clean powder puff, brush away excess with downward strokes. This looks so natural, and like it's bringing me back to like high school days. I didn't contour or use blush though. Eyebrows frame the eye and focus interest on them. They are also important in the shaping of the nose. Pointed eyebrows can make a nose seem longer. To remove stress... <laughs> I'm not going to lubricate my brows. I'm going to use this one here. Okay, so I'm going to use this one here. Okay, so I'm going to use Never pluck eyebrows further than the line, even with the inside corner of your eye. So the inner corner of your eye, so never pluck further. Okay, so this eyebrow right here, it's like bald right here, but I usually fill that in. So she's telling me to actually like, it's actually perfect for what she's saying on this side. But with this one, like, well, they are both bald right there, so... For the sake of the video, I won't pencil in right there. I'll just do what I have right here. Okay, so here we go. Under the brow and never above it. The color of your eyebrow pencil should be as close as possible to your natural color. Only the darkest brunettes should use a black pencil. The Could you imagine black? But I remember seeing pictures of like my grandma and her eyebrows were so intense. Anyways, I'm going to be using uh, this rich brown color because my hair is blonde and if I use my natural color, it would be like black, so. Highest point of the arch should be a straight line from the outer edge of the iris. The tapered end of the brow should form a straight line past the outer corner of the eye to the side of the nostril. You guys, look at my eyebrows. <sighs> Next step. Blend pencil strokes into your brow with a clean mascara brush. I'm going to use my spoolie. Mascara applied to lash. A lid highlight with a creamy pale shade is flattering to okay. most eyes. I don't know what she's applying on her eyelid. It looks kind of like wet, but I'm going to go ahead and pick a white color. I'm going to use the Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas palette. Sorry, Jeffrey. <laughs> it's the only white I had. 
I wish I had a Jeffree Star palette, like that, the one that he used, but I'm a broke ass. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use my finger like she did. Go ahead and apply that to my eyelids. But how can her little finger, she must have little tiny dainty fingers. I don't think she applied mascara yet because I'm getting white on my eyelashes, so the mascara will help cover that up. I look so different, you guys. Like, this is crazy. I feel like I'm back in like the 90s. <laughs> okay, so next step. <laughs> that dog. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go in with bomb diggity in my crease. She's not blending, so I'm not going to blend. My grandma lives in Florida, but I would love to see her reaction to a video like this. Like, get her opinion. Like, Nan, was this how you did your makeup back then? <laughs> okay, so moving on. For protruding eyes, a dark shadow on the lid will make eyes seem less prominent. For deep set eyes. Didn't she say that dark would make them look bigger earlier? Make the eyes seem more prominent. The three pairs of eyes are exactly the same distance apart. These eyes seem to be closer. The effect was achieved by concentrating the shadow towards the nose. I was so nose impressed by that little animation. By bringing the eyebrows <laughs> closer together. Here, the illusion of widely spaced eyes is created by placing the shadow and brows up. Yeah, I love doing the bottom one with myself. I always do the outer corner. On the bone, just beneath the brow, emphasizes the bone structure. I okay, so I'm going to do what she did. I'm going to use that okie dokie shade and go below my brows. Oh god, like, I could easily mess that up. I guess she, like, probably blends it. Ugh. It just seems so like white. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, next step. Eyeliner is used to make the lashes seem longer. There should be no hard, obvious line. Apply as close to the lashes as possible and remember. Black can only be worn by girls with very black hair. Well, guess what, lady? This blondie is going to be using <laughs> black eyeliner today. I'm supposed to be curling my eyelashes right now, but whatever. <laughs> I stepped to the beat of my own drum, okay, lady? So I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes. I'm using my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I'm going to go ahead and apply that and see what she says. Incidentally, no amount of eye makeup will help if your eyes are drowsy and lackluster. To <laughs> Jeffrey's response to that made me laugh. <laughs> She's like throwing shade here and there. Clearness and sparkle. Well, guess what? I have an eight month old, so I don't get a lot of sleep. I do drink a lot of water though, but I guess according to this lady, I guess my eyes lack sparkle. Okay, mascara is done. Let's see the next step. The generally accepted age for wearing lipstick is about 14. A subtle color. What did she just do on her lips? To apply lipstick, prop your elbows firmly on the table, supporting the chin with one hand while steadying. This was so weird. I'm like using a little dinner tray right now, so nothing's gonna be sturdy. Okay, so I'll just do this. So she's taking her lipstick and she's using a brush to apply it. She has her her hand on her chin. Elbows are on the table. Start from the center of the upper lip, drawing a smooth curve to the outer corner. No lip liner, you guys. Ugh. Not even a lip injections back then. 
I'm not saying that my lips are injected or anything. Like, well, I have had lip injections in the past, but if you're familiar with Juvederm, it, it fades out. So there's nothing left in my lip. My lips. Oops. <laughs> I just went over a little bit. Okay, so let's see what she says for the bottom. On the lower lip, start at the corner. Okay, so start at the corner. This is weird. I got, I'm sorry, but I can't. I can't see for the life of me, so I'm just gonna use my ear. And come to the center with a brush laid flat. And she says, take the flat end and apply color all over the lip. I look like I just played in one of those children's makeup kits. <laughs> This is crazy. Kind of makes me look a little bit younger, though. I do look like a little kid. Okay, so let me see what she says next. Or the lipstick itself. Blot the excess. Blot the excess. Apply a lip gloss. Remember, lips need protection as well as the skin. Well, I don't have any lip gloss on hand, so... Do wear a lip gloss. Lip shapes can be changed. For example, thin lips can be corrected by overpainting. Thick lips can be narrowed by covering them with base. We all know somebody who overlines their lips and looks horrible. Skin blemishes cannot be entirely avoided by most young girls. Makeup can conceal them. But a healthy diet and cleanliness can... Yes, it does. enjoyed this uh what do you think do i look like i'm from the 1960s anyways you guys this was fun you should try it yourself so let me know what you guys think in the comments below and i will see you in my next video bye you guys Mwah.